before we start anything it's better that we practice our samskriti the culture of putting the saliva into the eyes drinking one or two glass of water brushing your teeth taking a finger to press your gums rinsing the mouth 18 times nostril blow stomach pumpings cleaning the house lighting the lamp singing a bhajan looking at the sun and doing a surya namaskar makes the first round of your <laughs> body's battery charged this is a nice story from the gateless gate on the book zen flesh zen bones written by paul reps a buddha before history <laughs> before you look into the history you have to become a buddha enlightened being means you have understood yourself you have practiced your samskriti you become powerful and from the power when you look at anything you become so soft in that so soft you can penetrate anything you can like become like a water which can penetrate anything in everything that's only one thing all engineers in the world is frightened the water if it penetrates a building smallest gap it destroys the building <laughs> A monk asked Sejo, "I understand that a Buddha who lived before recorded history sat in meditation for ten cycles of existence and could not realize the highest truth, and so could not become fully emancipated. Why was this so?" Sejo replied, "Your question is self-explanatory. Yes, <laughs> you ask about a question without you." questioning yourself without you understanding without you practicing your some skridi your culture you have no right even to throw a question if i tell a question has been thrown out it is a borrowed no even if the question is thrown out it is things that thing has to go to the soil and convert it into manure for plants to take it up it's a long story so I understand you can understand when you see something you understand but what did you understand from your borrowed knowledge from your seeing you should be able to observe he said I understand that buddha who lived before recorded history said in meditation recorded history that that was seeing and he understood from the borrowed knowledge from the seeing you should be able to observe from seeing when you start observing you become a follower from observing you start seeking and you drop from becoming a follower to a seeker and you become a seeker you find truth once you found the truth you have become a master you have become a guru because you are you went seeking you found the truth and the moment you drop your truth you become a saint and when you doesn't drop and doesn't take when you melt with the nature you are enlightened that day you can meditate and every meditation is a medicine and from the top of the mount everest you come to the foot of the mountain after you reach the top of the mountain what do you do you rush back because you cannot breathe in the top of the mountain oxygen is less you rush back to the foot of the mountain and that is the day you are become a real enlightened being that you become a karma yogi working very hard to squeeze out the last drop of your 
talent from your body before you go to the meditation hall to give a lecture before you eat your food no work no food but things have gone wrong the moment you reach the top of the mountain everybody thinks i am a great mata ji shri 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 sadguru baba ji no 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 that is the time you must come down at the foot of the mountain with nothing and working very very hard that makes the economy grow that makes the people to seek you and when they see the master is, has got so much power and he doesn't discriminate you that many then when they does one you can have, you can do a thousand times faster and powerful than them then you are called a real enlightened being others are all saints among us say jo i understand that a buddha who lived before record history sat in meditation for 10 cycles of existence and could not realize the highest truth and so could not become fully emancipated the monk will ask and ask who seju seju is enlightened monk you see monk even though he is a saint he is not enlightened enlightened being is just as simple as possible is a real powerful karma yogi when one loses the deep intimate relationship with the nature said jiddu krishnamurthi then temples masjid churches becomes very important <laughs>